Welcome back. Right here, guys, on Survival 101. Yesterday, uh, we were issued a tornado warning and super heavy rainfall. And I decided to cover all my plants to protect them from the wind and the heavy rainfall we were, we were supposed to get. So basically what I did, uh, I basically just got these pots, these plastic cups, and covered them up and the tomatoes, just put black bags over them to keep the rain out, etc. Now, if you guys are going to get a frost, I do recommend doing this, but I also do not recommend for you guys to poke holes into the bag because there'll be no point of it. The, the cold air will just get in. You need a couple of holes in water too just for fresh air. It depends how long the frost is gonna last. I poked holes, a lot of holes because there was no frost, there was just gonna be wind. And I don't want this to be like a parachute. I put some holes in so the air can go in and just blow it up I guess. And also you want to go to air circulation and it won't get too hot now. And these have holes and this also has holes. So I want to uncover these and see what happens if they survive and I hope they did. So let's un undo them here. This is the rosemary plant we got here and it should be okay. Yep, it's fine. It's perfect. Just getting some fresh oxygen right now. Put that to the side. Next we got here our, I think it's our uh, cilantro. Perfect. That's good. So far, so good. Two for two. Next here is ow. Talk about that later. What I just did. This is our um, our dill. That's doing perfect. Next here is our pepper plant. I was worried about this, but it's perfect. It's perfect. Oregano did not did not, did not to be uh, covered up. Oregano is always fine. Our cucumber plant that, that did not get covered survived. I let one out there see how it was gonna do. Did wonderful. Right here, these are cucumbers. This is really heavy. Ah. Here, we, this is our uh, cucumber row. Take this big old thing out. Whoa. All of them. We're doing wonderful. Same here is our cucumbers. They're doing fine. But for grand finale, I was worried about the tomato plants. They weren't going to make it, so that's what happens here. God, this thing's hot. It's a black bag, of course. And this looks like they made it. The bag is super hot. In the future, I do not recommend you guys using black bags. Now, if it's a frost, I do recommend. But in this situation right now, outside is 85 degrees, super hot. I don't recommend you guys wearing, not wearing it, that's stupid, putting on black bags because it will get extremely hot. The thing is, like, boiling right now. And if we leave that too much... We got some clouds up there, if you can see, there's black clouds, but they look like they're going away from the house, so I decided to take the chance and just, like, take them off now, because I don't want these guys to, um, boil up in those. So, when right now, this is the tomato. You can see the leaves are a little bent. Those, they'll go back to normal eventually. Probably tonight. Even right now, actually. So, the plant... Both tomato plants have survived this, um, I guess you want to call little storm we had with a tornado with heavy rain issued. And let me tell you something. Last night, it barely rained, so I was like, that, well, that sucks. But I, I woke up this morning, I was like, you know what? I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let these guys go until... Um, I get back, and I came back in the middle, in the middle of the day around, I don't know, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock the most, 
it was pouring like freaking crap. It was like pouring. So, um, so good thing I left it on. It was pretty hard rain. There was a lot of wind, but it looks like the storm passed us now. I checked the weather for the next five days. Sunny weather, high 80, of course. The winds high is gonna go 20 miles per hour. Those are just gusts. They're fine. Everything's doing wonderful. I'm really pleased. Looks like that I'm gonna be having a good year. My next video, I'm doing my best here to keep up with this garden. It's a big garden. Put some more soil in the in the tip of the raised bed. Everything's doing good. Oregano down the row or cucumbers. Now these cucumbers, I bought these cucumbers. Some of them I bought. Some of them I from indoors, but most of them were from indoors. I just bought one. Now when this came out, when I, when I, when I put this outside a couple days ago, it was about uh, four days ago, five days ago, the week. No, it was not a week. It was about five days ago. These guys didn't have this extra leaf right here. They just had these two little small leaves, about that big. And four days, look how much this thing has grown. Leaves, the baby leaves have gone tremendously. Now it's getting to get its original leaves. The vines or something come out in the middle. Same with this one right here. All these, when they came out, they did not have this leaf. And that has leaf. That has it. That has it. That, ha that has the biggest one. That's developing right now. The watermelon um, did not make it. I'm not surprised. This watermelon is a winter... I, I just did it for fun, and as you can see, did not work at all, but whatever. I only, I only planted one, I planted one, so it's alright. This one is, this one does not look like it made it. It's only one, and I'm just going to let, let it go, because all these, other, all these other plants, three days ago, were just like that. And I was like about to pull them out, but I was like, you know what, and look how healthy they are right now. Look at that. So we're doing good. Oregano is doing wonderful. Got chance planted. Pepper leaves are down because from the bag. It's fine. It's good. Dill, wonderful. Tomato, beef steak. Dill, other tomato, wonderful. And uh, rosemary is everything doing good. So, the storm looks like just passed us. Or if you remember, if you saw a little bit before, it was black. Now it's gone. Sunny. Hot, hot, hot. Good for the plants. So this is it so far, guys. I'll make my next garden update as soon as I can. So thank you guys for watching again. Have a wonderful and beautiful day. I salute.